Hello everyone, I am Pastor Joe and aren't you glad that today is Friday? Today I have your word for the day. If these daily devotionals or our weekend sermons are blessing you, would you do me a favor? Leave us a comment. Let us know how they're blessing you. Like them and share them on your Facebook page. Thanks to Facebook's algorithm, the more popular our posts are, the more of an impact we can make together online. As we continue in our look at Philippians, remember that Paul was in prison for telling others about Jesus. In prison, he slept on a dirt floor in a small dungeon with other prisoners. His rations of food were meager if they were anything. He often went hungry and without food. He and the other prisoners had no privacy. They relieved themselves on the same dirt floor that they slept in, which is disgusting. Yet when he wrote to the Philippians, he did not complain about his living conditions one bit. Instead, he was grateful. Let's read Philippians 4, verses 10 through 13. Paul writes, How I praise the Lord that you are concerned about me again. I know that you've always been concerned for me, but you didn't have the chance to help me. Not that I was ever in need, for I have learned how to be content with whatever I have. I know how to live on almost nothing or with everything. I have learned the secret of living in every situation, whether it is with a full stomach or empty, with plenty or little. For I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. Now, the church in Philippians, they'd always loved Paul. But it was not until Paul was in need that they were able to express how much they loved him. See, followers of Jesus love being able to express love and concern to other people. When a need arises, it's followers of Jesus that typically lead the way. They jump into action. And that's because God's love for other people is in us. See, the reality is, as we look around with what's happening in our community, in the state of Arizona, even across the United States because of the coronavirus, there are people in need in our community right now. Now, some of the needs are physical, some needs are spiritual, some of the needs are mental, some people are scared, some are worried, but others aren't impacted at all. Uh, they haven't lost their job. They had plenty in reserves. Some people are living in plenty, but others, our neighbors, some have been laid off and some are now unemployed. Now, as we think about their needs, we have to understand we can't meet all their needs, but together, maybe we can meet more. See, some people in our community right now, they need food. So if you're able to help, would you do me a favor, uh, go to the grocery store and purchase canned foods, cereals, and other non-perishable food items and, and take them to the food bank here in Lake Havasu. Also, choose to become a shepherd to your neighbors. Walk up and down the street. Take note of the people that you haven't yet seen since this pandemic began. Talk to your neighbors while maintaining social distance. See how they're doing ask about them check in with the elderly see even from a distance you can ring a doorbell and just hold up a sign and say hey i'm only here to pray for you or with you it's okay you don't have to come outside see all of us if we think about it because we have god's love for other people inside of us we all want to help just like the philippians wanted to help paul so do me a favor Take an inventory of your neighborhood. Write down the people's names that you know and get to know the people that you don't. If you're able to be generous to those individuals who have been laid off, if you're able to be generous for the, to those that have, have lost their job, do it. But let's do whatever we can to express God's love for people as our community is in need. Thank you again for joining us today. If it blessed you today, like it, share it on your Facebook page. And I can't wait to gather together with you and worship God soon.